So we have dated a bunch of very interesting men. Recently, unbeknownst to me, I dated a Republican. <laughs> yeah, he told me on our third date, and um, he said that the problem with us dating would be that he would be embarrassed to introduce me to his family because of our material. So, <laughs> so great guy. But the good thing is he had advice on how we could write the kind of songs where both sides can laugh. He kept using that term. Yeah, both sides can laugh. And he actually had a lot of helpful hints on how to write a song, but it, he didn't, he was not a songwriter. No, he worked at like a Bitcoin type place <laughs> that wasn't quite Bitcoin, like the Bing of Bitcoin. But anyway, we, kind of, you know. we were thankful for his helpful advice yeah. and we took it and we wrote this song. Every once in a while you meet a special kind of man A needle in a haystack, a diamond in a pile of crap A man who's never written music but thinks he can A Republican cryptocurrency guy like Dan Thank you, digital accountant Dan, for explaining how to write a song I wouldn't have known to choose a topic before you, you Dan You came along, thanks for telling me to write down my thoughts and send them all to you so you can make sure it doesn't offend the conservative point of view. You say it's time to pop my liberal bubble and reach across the aisle. Find levity in relatable things that can make the red and blue states smile because comedy should be inclusive and connect with the other half. It should make us all feel comfortable so both sides can laugh. Well, I'm gonna take your advice, computer Dan, and write something bipartisan. So here's my song. Don't you hate it when you're liberal and you're stuck in traffic? Now I'm late for my big meeting. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're conservative and your in-laws are here? Oh, brother, what's your mother going to say? Don't you hate it when you're liberal and you lose your glasses? How can I find my glasses without my glasses? <laughs> Or when you're a conservative and your gun control policies enable constant senseless devastating mass shootings. Isn't it great when both sides can laugh? Ha 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 We're really not that different. We should come together as one with easy, pleasing, breezy jokes. You know, comedy can just be fun. So let's all get together and embrace the other half with this song where both sides can laugh. Don't you hate it when you're liberal and a song's in your head? Maureen, I'm not a theater person! <laughs> or when you're a conservative and your podcast won't load, it'll only play an ad from Blue Apron. Don't you hate it when you're liberal and you can't stop crying? Boo-hoo, I want civil rights! Or when you're a conservative and your woman-grabbing liar threatens nuclear annihilation on Twitter. <laughs> Isn't it great when both sides can laugh? Ha 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 In this time of political turmoil, I should ignore it and be polite. It's more comfortable for all of us if I don't choose between left and wrong. <laughs> so let's all get together and embrace the other half with this song where both sides can laugh. If I want a ceasefire to transpire, stop preaching to the whiny lefty choir. Embrace the climate change denier. Give every joke a qualifier with harmless, responsible comedy where we all feel good about our choices that recognizes everyone as equally valid political voices. Comedians should be on the medians and put a premium on obedience. Be through with mental acuity. Find unity through ambiguity. All this complaining and exaggerating is actually just exacerbating the futility and hypocrisy of the left-wing aristocracy. Let go of the same old blue chick. Stop trying to skew it. I sound like a mouthy shrew chick. Acoustic music isn't psychotherapeutic. I need to get a clue quick. If I want to accrue new YouTube clicks, subdue this taboo stuff I spew. Find a new, more palatable point of view. But you underestimated me, because I don't look like the enemy. My tentacles are venom me. A musical comedy sea anemone. And I should say that it's okay. That no matter the cost, you want your little pistol, or it's fine you voted for Voldemort. As long as your reasons were purely fiscal. Oh, you're just greedy. I didn't realize. That's fine. So let's all get together and embrace the other half with this song where both sides can laugh. So what do you think, Dan? How did I do? 
I can't believe I used to write songs that had a point of view. Being general is always better for comedy, it's true. Thank God for you, Dan. Thank only Christian God for you.